rapid prototyping using the 80 mega 328 I use these nano modules cheap China nano modules they are I don't know between one and three dollars you don't even get the microcontroller for that they are great for prototyping on a breadboard and I use them too on very small designs that are not for professional use, they are just for amateur use or just for people that want to rebuild them, make it easier and don't let them solder SMD. Um, I wanted to use many times more than one SPI interface or more than one I2C interface and I always did that through software. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass. But uh, a while ago, uh, the successor of the 80 Mega 328P came out. The 80 Mega 328 Papa Bravo. Problem is that uh, I didn't found any uh, any bread any, any breakouts you know, in China for that. And the ones I found is just they replaced only the chip and the board left the same. So all the additional pins, they are not usable. So in 2020, I decided to do it by myself. I didn't want to do it because I wanted to be able to buy it, not to do everything by myself and then and inventing the wheel again and again. But there was no chance to find anything similar that I wanted. Two years, yeah, it's a long time. Many things happen, not very, not very happy, and health-wise, but thank God, now it's all okay. So, 2020, I designed the, the, the PCB for, the, for my version of the Nano 388 Papa, Bra Papa Bravo, and this is this one. I finally managed yesterday to populated. Uh, I had to use my standard SMD size when I'm, I'm, when I'm designing is 0603 but this time I used 04022 because there were quite quite narrow space here. The whole thing is quite crowded. So the idea of this is you have an additional I square C. This additional I square C is this here, these two additional pins. You have additional two digital pins that are shared with ADC6 and ADC7, but now you can use them as normal digital IO too. So you get almost four pins additionally. Uh, a dedicated SPI with dedicated uh, configuration registers and dedicated uh, I square C again with dedicated registers. There are a lot of other uh, other functions that they added to, but these were for me the most important ones. So I did it at a more uh, optimized design, optimized in means of analog, both uh, ground planes on both sides, large ground planes on both sides, much better uh, oscillator. A quartz with NPO content, uh, load condens uh, capacitors, uh, dedicated, that's the bottom side of it, dedicated 3.3 volt regulator, not to be used because the other boards used the USB chip for the 3.3 output. This is completely completely redesigned as you can see so this is the thing the USB as a USB chip I use the GH340E I think yeah E it's an E so that's the complete design and of course an, an micro USB I don't really like it but everybody uses it at the moment anyway this thing works perfect. It is ready to for mass production. And I think I will
put them on Tinder. I will produce them on GLC with G, uh, at GLC PCB and put them on Tinder. So well, that's just to see the difference on the size. It's only two pins more, not more. Same with everything. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers.